the research into CCCA is really still in its infancy. We were so excited a few years ago when um, an international team revealed for the first time that this is in fact a disease where some people have a genetic mutation. Most recently, there's been an interesting study out of Hopkins that has shown that people who have more limited forms of CCCA have different gene expression than people who have really severe, almost complete uh, scalp involvement of their CCCA. This can have tremendous implications for how, what we, um, how we counsel people, how we expect their diseases to progress, diagnoses and, and fine tuning diagnosis, and hopefully in the future will also help impact how we treat these patients. There's so much work that still needs to be done. This is a very exciting time to be involved in hair loss research.